let's look at the complex logarithm ln of z and let's ask ourselves the question if you look at its Riemann surface how many sheets does that surface have so pause the video to ponder this particular problem for starters let's look at something slightly more familiar so if we have the complex function z to the power of one half so the complex square root you know that if you plug in a single input that there's basically two possible outputs that you can get out of it and one is minus uh, the other one so this is a function which has two inputs for a single output and therefore its Riemann surface has two sheets as you well know so here we have a different situation our black box here is the complex logarithm if we plug in a single input how many different outputs do we get out so that's the question we need to solve now let's calculate the complex logarithm um, and let's do that by writing z in its polar form so rho exponential j theta and then just by looking at the product the, the logarithm of the product is just the sum of the different logarithms so this becomes logarithm of the um, length r plus the logarithm of the exponential which will cancel and that's going to be j theta the problem here or at least the, or the feature if you want is that if you add 2 pi or any integer copy of 2 pi to that theta over here you still end up with the same value the same input z so nothing changes here on the input side if you add 2 pi to the argument of z but what happens at the output side so if you replace here theta by theta plus an integer number of 2 pi then basically here at the output you also get these integer numbers of 2 pi appearing and it doesn't really matter how many times you add or subtract 2 pi here you will get a different result at the output basically single input you get an infinite number of results for your complex logarithm so this means that the Riemann surface will have an infinite number of sheets it's a bit tricky to to draw this but it's basically think of, a, of an infinite corkscrew which keeps on spiraling um, ha and having an infinite number of sheets both going towards the top and going towards the bottom so the complex logarithm is an infinitely valued function with a Riemann surface that has an infinite number of sheets